look myself in the mirror and accept that if you weren't a racist, you condone what a racist did. So that's to me the same thing. It's the same thing. So I, I agree with you completely. Sounds to really make you rub and scrub. Swing barang barang bong billy billy bong. Bong billy 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 bong. I said, pass the dutchy from the left hand side. Pass the dutchy from the left hand side. It's a go bon. Anthony, welcome to the show. I'm, I'm glad to be here. Thank you for the invite. I appreciate it. You, you uh, got a big show, you got a big following. So uh, God bless you. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Both of you, welcome to the show. I greatly appreciate you coming on. Thank you, thank you, and good morning. The right, floor is yours. Good job. Whatever it is, it'll keep till the morning. How about we both got better things to do? Midnight blue Time on your side I still care I may have died But I come nowhere Just think of me I'll be there Just think of me I'll be there There you go Bit rusty <laughs> you know what? I gotta, I gotta tell you. Usually, I make my guests get a little emotional if I find something that touches them. You got me this time. So, viewers, you're always telling me you got this one emotional. That got me emotional. I don't my eyes. Since you told me you've seen some of the shows already, welcome, Johnny. Of course, you know the running joke on my show is because you're six hours ahead of me. Oh yeah. I need the lottery numbers. But what do you mean? These ones. <laughs> I'm one step ahead of you, man. Hey, folks, the man with the pinky ring and the New York thing, forget about it, Bad Brad Berkwood. And you're watching another episode of the Bad Brad Berkwood Show on the Ringside Report web TV channel. Now hit that button and subscribe, I greatly appreciate it. If you've already subscribed, I greatly appreciate it. Tell all your friends, double forget about it. Well today, it's gonna to be a little bit different. I'm gonna be doing another book review. And the book is Sinatra and Me in the Wee Small Hours by Tony Appadizano with Mary Jane Ross. Now, if you've been living under a rock, or you went with Bezos or Branson up and out of space and you didn't know, forget about it. I am one of the biggest Frank Sinatra fans of his music, of his movies, and most importantly, of his humanity. I've collected memorabilia for many, many years. I've got tons of books in my library and I probably have no exaggeration in the top five uh, collections of his music in the world that I inherited from my uncle Stan many years ago. Uh, who worked for Frank Sinatra, and that's another show that I'm going to be doing and talking about. This book hit me in the heart, I got to tell you. Uh, Tony O, as they call him, was very, very close to Frank the last couple of decades of his life. But not just Frank, Jilly Rizzo, who Frank adored. If you don't know the story, look up Jilly Rizzo and Frank Sinatra. They were paisan to the third power. Tonio shares a lot of stories about Frank, very poignant, intimate stories. He shows the warts too, because I'm gonna tell you something. We all are imperfect. Every person on planet Earth is imperfect. Contrary to what they seem to believe that in many cases they're perfect. They are not, Frank Sinatra was not perfect. But what he left us through his legacy and his music, his movies, but most of all, his humanity. People forget. They always want to talk about the mafia and all this bullshit. I had to go there. Tonio talks about all that other stuff. Is another reason why I love this book. Many people have heard me say over many years about Frank getting 
the NAACP Image Award in 1987. True story, fact. But people would like to deflect and say, well, he was in a mob, which is a bunch of BS. But that's what they'd rather talk about than all of the wonderful things that he's done. I'm the flip of that. I want to talk about what he's done for humanity because humanity counts the most to me. That's what Tony owed in his book. He was, uh, again, very straightforward. He didn't pull any punches. And that type of book is the type of book that touches me. He talked about Frank's loyalty. He talked about the things that Frank did that never, he never wanted credit for. I've heard a lot of these stories and a lot of them are brand new to me. And I got to tell you, I was very emotional reading this book because Frank Sinatra, I'm 53 years old, has been a part of my life for almost every year that I've ever been on planet Earth because of my late father, Alvin Berkwood, who worked with Frank at the Fountain Blue in different venues that Frank played. And my uncle Stan, who worked for Frank Sinatra's publishing company, which is going to be another show down the road I'm going to talk about. This book has so much in it, and it's going to touch you uh, in so many different ways about loyalty, friendship, standing up to racism, all the things that throughout Frank Sinatra's life he did. And I'm proud of Tony O for putting this book out. And I'll be honest with you, I've read everything on Frank, the good, the bad, the ugly, all of it, read it all. You could take it with a grain of salt, a lot of stuff that's written. But if I had to read one last book that came out on Frank Sinatra, I got to tell you folks, it would be Sinatra Me and the Wee Small Hours by Tony O with Mary Jane Ross. Because like I said, it really, really tugged at my heartstrings. I, in fact, I read excerpts from it to Deb because I, I, things that I told her before, Tony O backed up in his book, but traits that Frank has, Frank was much older than me, obviously. So I have to say that a lot of traits that I have, I emulate stuff that Frank Sinatra had as a human being, what my father had, what my uncle Stan had. So it touched me to hear those stories. I always rate on five stars. And I gotta tell you folks, this book is absolutely five stars but I wish I could give it 155 stars. And you wanna know something? 155 stars it is, forget about it. This book was fantastic. I read it in about three, a uh, couple hour sittings because I, I didn't wanna miss anything. And I'm probably gonna go back and reread it again because it was just that good. It's from Simon & Schuster. Pick up a copy, again, 155 stars, forget about it. Fantastic, heartfelt book. Again, if I had to read one more book on Frank Sinatra. This is the book that I wanted to read. And I don't know if I'll ever read another book on him because I've read and heard so much from my Uncle Stan, from my dad, reading up on him. I don't know if there's anything left to tell, okay? But I know this. If there was one artist that transcended everything, humanity, entertainment, you name it, it was Francis Albert Sinatra. And Frank we lost you on May 14, 1998 in the physical. But I got to tell you, I was put in the Florida Boxing Hall of Fame last month down in uh, St. Petersburg, Florida, where the ceremony was. And Fort Myers, Florida is where the Hall of Fame, Florida Boxing Hall of Fame Museum is. I had to pick a song. Well, folks, you know what it was. Frank Sinatra. And if you had a question on what Sinatra song, I had to pick. New York, New York. The video will be out soon. I'll post it on my Twitter page. When I retired in 2006 from the Navy after 20 years and 28 days serving this country during war and peace honorably, I produced my retirement ceremony. And there was a video that played and there wasn't a dry eye in the room. And it was pictures of my time in the military. And the song that played over it, forget about it. Frank Sinatra. And the choice in that particular instance, my way. So Frank, like I said, is a huge part of my life. God rest your soul, Frank. Greatly, greatly miss you. The world is a little bit darker. I should say a lot darker since you've been gone. But again, your legacy is always going to be here. I get a little emotional just talking about it. 
155 stars. <laughs> How about that? One more time. Sinatra and me in the wee small hours by Tony O with Mary Jane Ross. Pick it up from Simon & Schuster, Amazon.com, all your online retail places. All right, folks. That's another episode of the Bad Brad Berkwood Show and you can't forget about it. Follow me on Twitter at Bad Brad RSR. Again, at Bad Brad RSR. And remember, folks, every act of kindness is a little love we leave behind. Bad Brad.